Hi students, welcome to the UBS class. Uh, right, uh, have you had your breakfast today? What do you eat? Uh, right, uh, somebody eat upma, somebody eat idli, dosa, vada, has our breakfast, right? So, uh, what we eat uh, our lunch generally? Yes, right, rice, uh, some curries uh, with vegetables, right? curd, buttermilk, yes, we have uh, these things as our lunch, right? Uh, and sometimes uh, in Sundays, we eat eggs, uh, chi uh, chicken, mutton, fish, like this, right? Uh, so, these things are our, uh, we, we are taking these up as our food, right? Uh, have you ever asked a question uh, by someone that is, you are, are, are you vegetarian or non-vegetarian, right? Have you ever been asked? Yes. Uh, sometimes somebody asks you, you, are you vegetarian or non-vegetarian? How can you say, how can you answer them? How can you decide you are, uh, whether you are a vegetarian or a non-vegetarian? Right? Yes. Yes, you know. Uh, I think uh, in your last class, previous classes, you may know that if we eat only the products, uh, of plants, we are we can we are say, said as vegetarian. If we eat uh, the products of plants and also the animals like like meat, right, uh, fishes, uh, all this. So we 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 were called just uh, a vegetarian when the, we we eat only uh, products of plants. We are called as vegetarians and uh, besides eating uh, the products of plants we eat, if we eat uh, the animals or the flesh the fishes chicken mutton like this we, we were called as non vegetarian so in the same way uh, as we have some um, good habits in the same way animals also have some good habits so in this class we are going to see about uh, some of the food habits of animals. So, here our lesson is plants and animals uh, for the class. <laughs> right? So, today we are going to know uh, some new terms. They are here herbivores, carnivores, omnivores. Right? So, uh, we are going to know what are these terms, uh, which animals uh, comes under uh, this section and which, which comes under these two, right? So, in the same way, vegetarian, we are called vegetarian and non vegetarians. Uh, animals also, animals also uh, eating food, right? No? Here, see, uh, for example, uh, let us say cows. So, what cow eat? Right? Yes, grass. Uh, goat, what goat eats? Yes, some leaves, some fruits, like this. So, here, uh, these cows, goats, or monkeys, these are uh, some of the examples for healthy goats. So, here, we, we can say that uh, these animals are healthy goats because they eat only the products of plants, like leaves, fruits. Uh, some seeds and some nuts. So, here you can say uh, herbivores means the animals which eats only the products of plants, right? Okay. So, you can say, uh, you can easily, you can guess what is meant by what are the animals, uh, we, we can say carnivores. Can you guess? Yes. The animals which eat only meat or flesh of other animals, right? So let us see some, some animals. Uh, here are some examples for you. Yes, tigers, lion, frog. Uh, so these are some examples of carnivores. Here, tiger, uh, tiger eats only other animals. Uh, generally, we see tiger biscuits, right? Have you ever eaten? Yes, we eat tiger biscuits, but a tiger never eat biscuit because biscuit is uh, it is made by 
plants, right? So, uh, in the same way, right also, we see we hear about lion honey, right? But lion never eats honey. Lion only eats the eats other animals, right? So, I think we got the point here. Some animals eat only other animals. They hunt, right? So, these are all carnivores. So, here, uh, here about omnivores means, so here I wrote both. Both means, the animals, they eat the products of plants and also the meat of, meat and the flesh of other animals, right? So, uh, let us see the examples you can understand. So, cat, dog, cat. So, generally we see cat, dogs in our homes. So, what, what a cat eats? Yes, cat, cat uh, drinks milk, right? Cat hunts some small creatures, right? So, it, it eats both the products of plants and the products of, sorry, and, and also some other animals. So, here uh, we can say a cat, uh, in the same way dog also. Uh, when we give, when we feed a dog rice, it eat. When we feed it uh, some chicken or some uh, fish, it, it, it also eat them, right? So, these are the uh, categories of animals. I think we can categorize animals uh, based on the food habits into three types. They are herbivores, carnivores, omnivores. So, herbivores means they eat only the products of plants. Carnivores means they eat only meat. They don't eat the products of plants, right? Here omnivores means they, they eat all the things. All the things means the products of plants and also meat and flesh of the other animals, right? So uh, here you have, you have seen some, some examples for all these categories. So uh, I am going to show you some more examples of animals uh, which are herbivores and which are carnivores and which are omnivores. So let us have some on some examples, right? So uh, here you can see some animals. So uh, this is a cow. Uh, it is eating grass, right? In the same way here, horse and ox, goat, right? Uh, these are these are the examples of herbivores. So uh, you can notice a panda. Panda is also a herbivore and here a monkey, here a chimpanzee and here a koala, koala bear, right? So yes, here are some more examples of herbivores. So a buffalo, a buffalo is a herbivore. So here a giraffe, hippopotamus, elephant, and zebra, bear, camel, sheep. So, all these animals are herbivores. Means they eat only the product of plants, right? So, here you can see uh, all these animals are eating only a grass, right? Grass means grass is also plants, right? Right. So, we are going to see some more examples. Yes, here. Uh, can you guess uh, these animals comes under? Yes, comes under carnivores. So, a lion, a tiger. So, here uh, we have already discussed about lion and tiger. So, here we can see the crocodile. So, crocodile also is a carnivore. That means it, it, eat, it eats only uh, other animals, not uh, plants, fruits, uh, right? So, wolf, wolf also a carnivore shark here frog yes here snake snake also eat uh, other animals uh, some uh, so uh, here we, you can see frog is very near to the snake so it eat frog uh, sometimes people thought that uh, snake uh, drinks milk uh, so in, in some festivals uh, they feed milk to snakes but it doesn't it doesn't drink so uh, we don't need to give 
milk to snakes it is a carnivore it doesn't take milk right so here the examples of omnivores thus here a dog cat hen uh, these two we are discussed here yes you can observe crow also an omnivore right hen pig a cockroach and a squirrel and surprisingly ant ant also omnivores have you ever seen uh, ant eating some other animals i mean not uh, ant eating tiger or lion ant eating a small uh, very small creatures so so maybe ant also eat the tigers and lions when they die right okay so uh, you just uh, saw some of the examples of these uh, these categories uh, here uh, what we uh, let us recall what we learned in this class uh, simply uh, based on food uh, we can categorize uh, the animals into three they are herbivores carnivores and omnivores right herbivores only eat plants carnivores only meat or fresh omnivores both so you have seen uh, so many examples for these categories so here our lesson is uh, the title is plants and animals here uh, you learned about uh, the food of animals and uh, the categories so what is what is about plants uh, as you know uh, you know that uh, all the living things uh, here plants and animals they both are living things so we know that uh, the living things need food right here uh, we discuss about animals then what about plants uh, do uh, i think you know plants need food uh, but what is the food uh, they they need uh, how how they prepare or how they got food so this is a question for you you, you just you just think on it uh, we will discuss in the next class of, uh, about uh, food of plants right thank you